What's up, Blue players? In today's video, I will be going over the best cards for each color in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. I will be mentioning the top 5 best cards for each color, including the best leader card. The way I will go about in choosing these cards is based on its playability and how versatile the card is. I have broken these cards down into categories. These categories are the best extra card, battle card, boss card, leader card and counter attack cards for each specific color so without further ado let's begin i will start off with the top five blue cards in dragon ball super the best blue extra card in the game and i am 100 percent sure everyone could agree that it is sense of being sense of being gives you a 5k boost power for the turn and restands two of your energies which allow you to push for a game or defend yourself for the entire turn the best blue battle card is unyielding trunks Unyielding Trunks is so good, Bandai set a limit of only one in a deck because of its ability to restand one energy when used for a combo which allowed you to make explosive extended plays. And now for the best blue boss card, it goes to the almighty Gogeta Fusion Reborn that has the power to destroy an opponent's hand at the cost of one life going to the drop. Gogeta is the strongest finisher card in the blues arsenal because Gogeta not only leaves your opponent with only 3 cards in hand upon arrival, he also is a triple strike, dealing 3 damage, has deflect, meaning you can't counter him upon play and he can't be targeted by skills because of his barrier ability. Gogeta is definitely the best blue boss card. Moving on to the best blue leader card in the game, that will go to Herutagarn. This leader on his unawakened side has the ability to draw you two cards when he attacks the leader at the cost of dropping one card from your hand. This is extremely powerful because it lets you add cards to the drop fueling your overrun pile or sparking cards plus cycles through your deck allowing you to have more card options to overcome your opponent. Herudegarn's awakened side is just as powerful on its own because every time he attacks and you have 4 energies, your opponent is forced to put 1 card from their hand on top of their deck. This is huge because your opponent will be forced to draw the same cards over and over one of the best cards in the game for sure. One of the best blue counter attack cards for the blue is Mafuba, and this pick can be a little bit more controversial. But this blue counter attack card has the ability to not only stop an attack, it blanks an attacking card for two turns, meaning the card that gets trapped under Mafuba is non existent. Those were the top 5 blue cards, let us know what you feel about these picks, make sure to give us a like on this video and now let's move on to the best red cards. Now the best red extra card in Dragon Ball Super is Familial Bonds because of its ability to bring back any Saiyan 3 cost or less from the drop as long as your leader is red. On top of that, you could also search for your Dragon Balls, giving you a healthy hand on top of bringing you a Saiyan from the grave. For the best red battle card, we chose Fearless Pan because she has an insane ability that upon play, she grants a 5000 power boost to your battle cards and leader cards and in addition to that we also get double strike to all your cards on the field that happen to be red which usually is enough pressure to finish off your opponent now the strongest red boss card in dragon ball super is frieza's army reborn the secret rare the secret has a quadruple strike 40,000 power blows up the entire field ignoring barrier and only costs 5 energies if you happen to have 2 lives or less. This card is definitely a boss card. All these cards synchronize well with the best red leader card which is Pan GT. 
This red leader card is the best because when you play a battle card, that card gains 5k power for the turn and if the card being played reaches 20,000 power, you also get a draw. Pan overall is the best super explosive leader with attacking pressure and draws for the best red counter card in the game and lots of people will probably disagree with me but I will be giving it to Topo Righteous Aid. Topo as a counter attack card that pretty much stops an attack plus you get a 20k power battle card on the field and upon play your opponent can't attack anymore unless they choose to drop two cards from their hand. This card completely stops your opponent's momentum and ultimately could even win you a game. One of the most powerful colors in Dragon Ball Super card game happens to be red and these cards are insanely strong. The most powerful colors in the game happens to be yellow. One of the strongest yellow extra cards, some might even say might be the strongest card, is Cold Bloodlust. This card is simple yet very powerful. All it does is negate a battle card being played if your leader is a Frieza's army. Moving on to the best yellow battle card with a base power of 20,000 and double strike, we have the Great A Bardock Raider's Cry. What makes this card, this yellow battle card, so powerful is the fact that it comes out by comboing. On top of that, he also draws you one card upon play and rests one of your opponent's battle cards on the field. He can come out during your opponent's turn and it is an extremely powerful card to pressure your opponent and go for game with. What could be more powerful than a great ape? Well, the boss card for the yellow engine. The boss card for the yellow engine goes to Height of Mastery Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku because it literally will seal you a game. When Height of Mastery comes out onto the field, he puts three cards that are on your opponent's side of the field to rest mode and he is also a triple strike and dual attack and if you feel that that is not enough he also has deflect meaning he can't be counterplayed when he is being brought out onto the field straight broken combine the boss card for the yellow with the best yellow leader which happens to be broly you have an unstoppable deck broly is considered the best leader card for yellow because he picks up a life every time he attacks which allows you to self awaken have a big hand size plus apply consistent pressure to your opponent then on the awakened side Broly becomes even more powerful because he has the ability to rest any of your opponent's battle cards and that's not even the broken part. He can also restand any of your cards on the field at the cost of one of your lives. Broly is definitely the best yellow leader in Dragon Ball TCG. For the best yellow defensive counter attack card, it will go to Flying Nimbus because it steals games, destroying explosive offensive pressure attacks from your opponent. It is a negate that not only stops an attack, if you ditch one yellow card from your hand, you are able to stop your opponent from making multiple attacks and saving you from a bombardment of attacks on your opponent's side. Two more colors to go people and these two colors happen to be green and black so the best green extra card in the game goes to preemptive strike because of its effect to place a four cost battle card that's being placed straight into the drop area meaning it doesn't get its abilities off and your opponent just use their energies for nothing now for the best green battle card this bot goes to Vegeta the Cruel because he is the green battle card that if you happen to have a dual color energy you are able to counter play which means during your opponent's turn Vegeta comes out onto the field and upon play 
He KOs a battle card that your opponent has and forces your opponent to warp one card from their hand. So that is insanely powerful, but not as powerful as the best green boss card, which I am 100% without a doubt, I know is the strongest card in Dragon Ball Super card game. And that is Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, the Awakened Power. Victory Strike, nuff said. <laughs> no, but really, it has a skill that when it deals one damage, you auto win. Add that to a non-negatable attack and a non-negatable skill that Mastered Ultra Instinct has. This definitely deserves the best boss card in Dragon Ball Super. And now moving on to the best green leader card, which will be the legendary Super Saiyan himself, Son Goku. Son Goku gets this spot because of its crazy ability to draw two at the cost of just dropping one green card from your hand and bursting two from the top of your deck. And when he is awakened, he is able to not only gain a power boost when he attacks, he also gains double strike if you happen to have the homie Krillin in the drop area. And finally, the last card for the green happens to be a counter attack and this counter attack card is Shocking Death Ball. Shocking Death Ball not only negates the attack, you're able to choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 2 or less and KO it and the best part is that it has Sparking 5 meaning at the cost of one of your lives if you happen to have 5 cards in the drop you're able to use Shocking Death Ball and stop an attack and also KO one of your opponent's battle cards, which makes Shocking Death Ball the best green counter attack card. We finally reach the final color, which happens to be black, and the first section that I want to talk about is the best extra card. The best extra card in Dragon Ball Super Card Game that happens to be black is World Peace. World Peace is pretty much a monster reborn because this card allows you to choose one battle card that's in your drop area with the energy cost less than or equal to your current energy and play it. Meaning, if you happen to have 7 energies, you're able to bring back a battle card that's 7 cost and combine this with our leaders that grants you the desire ability, you're able to bring something back to life without any energy, making world peace a very powerful card. And now for the best black battle card, and this is one of my favorite cards and it happens to be Bardock Awakened Instinct. This is an overround 4 card, meaning you can bring it out for free without paying its energy cost at the cost of sending 4 cards from your drop to the warp. And when this guy comes out with overrealm, you get to draw two cards, then choose one card from your hand and place it in the drop area, allowing you not only to have a 20k body for pressure, you're also drawing cards and fueling the drop area for more overrealm potential. And now for the best boss card that happens to be black color, I will have to give it to Mira Creator Absorbed because of the fact that this card right here is versatile and can be splashed into any deck. So Mira Creator Absorbed is an overround 4 for only 1 energy, you send 4 cards from the drop to the warp, he has deflect meaning you cannot counter him and when he comes into play and he also gains 5k power for each card in the warp meaning Mira is going to be a heavy attacking card when he comes out and if you use him for Union Absorb, he also makes your opponent warp 3 from their hand and is granted double strike for the turn. And now for the best black leader, this spot goes 100% to Shenron from the starter deck. 
Shenron is one of the most powerful black leaders in Dragon Ball Super card game because he searches you out two Dragon Ball cards every turn allowing you to get all seven in the drop to grant yourself a wish, get yourself a desired card back to your hand and when you are Shenron you have three options to either draw a card, play desired cards for free or remove all seven Dragon Balls to give one of your battle cards a 10k boost power and triple attack for the turn meaning you're gonna definitely finish off your opponent and Shenron is no joke one of the strongest leaders in Dragon Ball and finally the last card I want to talk about in this best cards list for each color will go to power burst power burst is a counter that not only negates an attack it allows you to get a battle card that happens to be black from your drop area or warp and add it to your hand on top of that it also does have sparking five meaning you can activate this counter by just taking a life stopping an attack and still adding yourself one black battle card from your drop or warp power burst for sure is one of the best counter attacks in dragon ball super card game that's black so that's the end of the best cards for each color in dragon ball super card game let it be known in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you agree with this list? Do you disagree with this list? Make sure you also hit us a good like if you guys like this type of video. So I could, you know, be inspired to make more of these type of videos. And like we always say, y'all stay super and make sure to subscribe. <laughs>